I am scared that the violence lurking beneath the mask of white supremacy will bubble out, targeting me as a woman, as someone with Jewish heritage, someone with a black partner and mixed race kids. This fear is real and visceral, but I organized despite it. Two years ago, with several others, I helped to form a group to educate, educate organize, and, and mobilize, mobilize white people to work for racial, racial justice. justice as part of a multiracial majority for justice. We raise funds for grassroots organizations led by people of color. We volunteer our time and skills. We bring food. We show up and plan, uh, to show up to and plan rallies. We phone bank and door knock to discuss issues pertinent to our community and to the Black Lives Matter movement. We educate ourselves as well as other white people in our circles. We practice interrupting racism. This is hard work for me. This, this is, is my antidote to violence, apathy, and despair. I try to embody what I long for other white people to do, which is to answer the call to acknowledge and renounce whiteness for its historical and current inseparability from racial violence and oppression. I want white people to organize en masse, divest ourselves from the narrow definition of success in the capitalistic society that forces us to subscribe to the deadly values of white supremacy. What is asked of us is nothing short of building a new world rooted in collective action, shaped by a narrative that strives to re-envision, co-create, collaborate, liberate across ingrained divisions of race, class, gender, and all the rest. This, this is your story, story and my story intertwined. Pass, pass the trial, take the hoe, and let's keep working together. together.